Hi everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Today we're talking about pears and how to select and store your pears when you get them home. When you buy pears, now pears are very perishable and so when we buy them at the grocery store almost all of them will be unripe, okay? They'll be unripe and they'll need to be ripened up when we get them home. But you want to look for pears that are smooth skinned and not really really rock hard okay but just firm and no big bruises or signs of decay on them those are going to be older ones they're not going to do you treat you well when you get home avoid those that have soft spots and puncture wounds on them there may be bacteria inside from a puncture wound and you don't want that now the skin may not be uniformly colored and that's typical of pears. That's the way they are made. That's the way they grow. So don't worry about that so much. So you want to just look at the quality of the pear itself and not worry about the discolorations that are on there. If you're looking for ripe pears and you're not sure how to tell if they're ripe, you pick them up in your hand and you put either your thumb or your index finger toward the stem end and you just gently press it. If it's firm, the pear is not ripe. If it gives a little bit, then it's ripe. If it's mushy up there, it's overripe. If you're looking for overripe pears, you might find a few of them at this grocery store, but not very many. Uh, but that's, that's going to be your indication. There is application for very ripe, mushy pears, and you might be looking for them. Anyway, that's your key. It's just feeling at the top by the stem end, and that'll tell you how ripe it is. When you get your pears home, chances are they're not ripe, and so you'll need to leave them at room temperature for a few days until they pass the ripeness test and you don't want them to be in sunlight or near a heat source by any means, but just allow them to sit on your kitchen counter and uh, they'll ripen up. Now, if you want to speed up the ripening process, place them near some fruit that releases ethylene gas. It could be avocados, apples, or bananas. Now, if you really want to speed up the ripening process, put your unripe pears in a paper bag along with an apple, avocado, or a banana, and that will really help to speed up the process. Monitor them carefully with your ripeness test, and when they are ripe, then you want to put them in the refrigerator and use them up as quickly as you can because they will not last forever, that's for sure. Well, I do hope this helps you out. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Bye for now.